Hello and welcome to Online Appliance Tech. Today we're going to go over the diagnostic modes for the Samsung top load washers. First thing you want to do is press the power button and then you're going to hit delays in to 17 hours. Then you'll press the start button, or actually hold the start button until AS appears. Once AS appears, you're then going to press start once. Sometimes you have to wait a second before you can press it. Okay, first test mode is the cold valve. So say if you put this cold valve on and you have no water, that's probably going to be your water inlet valve. So this is a good way to test the valves. Okay, test two will be the HO, which stands for hot water. Same thing, if you have no water input or the water is not coming in at a good rate, uh, sometimes you'll get like a C or a 4C error code, and also this will be your water inlet valve. So if you're not getting the correct water, you know, that will be a hot, hot valve you would need to replace. Test six is your agitation. Sometimes this takes a while before it starts to agitate because the shifter does have to adjust from spin to agitate. And this is a good test is just make sure it's agitating right. Okay, so test seven is the drain pump. So this test activates the drain pump. So if your water is not exiting the tub correctly, you will probably have to replace the drain pump. A good way, a good thing for this automatic test mode too is if you do have any type of error code or a function that's not working, it will shoot that code during the test. So test 8 is a high spin. So example, if it doesn't get up to the high spin speed, it will shoot an error code that indicates it's not uh, getting to the correct speed. So this is a good little way to uh, see what type or what part of the machine is pulling an error code when the defect of the part is happening, if that makes sense. So what this does, is just ramps this up to uh, bully 260 RPM or 255. And it'll just go back down. Okay, in test mode 10, just unlocks the door. So that's the automatic test mode. So now let's pull up any stored error code. So just press the power button. And you're going to press uh, delay into 17 hours. And then you'll hold the start button to AS appears. And once the AS appears, give it a second, press the smart care button once. And to activate and pull up any error codes, you just turn the knob clockwise. UB means unbalanced, so that's a problem with this machine. And turn it once again clockwise. This is a door lock error. I will leave in the description below all error codes and what they mean. So if you need to, so say if you pull up a different error code, you'll know exactly what it means. 
So this is the manual test mode. Just go to 17 again, 17 hours, and then hold the start button until the AS appears. And press the delay in, and this will actually go through each test mode. So once you want to, once you want to activate the next test mode, you'll just keep on hitting the delay in. So two is a drain pump. And CO is cold. So like I said, this is a good way to test each different, or let's say if you get an error code and it stands for uh, 4C example, you would check your water in the valve uh, for your code valve through the manual test mode just to make sure that is your problem. And vice versa, any other type of error codes you get, you can test that part direct. Okay, test mode 8. This is your high speed test. And one thing about the UB error code, mean, which means unbalanced, it will not bounce around much with no closing. So you say you'll test the machine with no close, everything will work out well. But once you put your clothes in there, then it will bounce and hit the side of the washer uh, pretty hard. And uh, that's a common problem, and most of the time, 99% of the time, it's the shocks. So what I recommend to figure out what's going on with your Samsung washer is actually pull up the stored error codes first. Go to description below, see what the error codes mean, and then go to manual test mode to activate that uh section say like I said if it's a C4 not C4 but 4C error code you can activate the code valve okay and that's the end of the test mode manual test mode 10 will basically just unlock the door well, I hope this video was helpful and please like and subscribe for more future tips and videos have a good day